So first of all, data binding, it means what we have our class and properties, and we are going to interact these property values with the WPF elements. So in this uh, elements, we are going to add some text box, text blocks, or uh, list collection, combo box, and we are going to map our class properties to it. So it is a kind of a data interaction mechanism. Data binding is a kind of a data interaction mechanism with the UI elements. So let's create a simple application WPF and add one class here. We'll add one class as a person details. Person details this internal. So this personal details class which we have added now added one property here prop and the string string and name. So this property which we are going to bind to this main window. So first of all here create a design of our UI take two rows for definition. And we can we can add two controls here. Load condition horizontal, and this is going to be in the zero though. In this stack panel, add one text block. Text take as a name. Now we we'll add one text box as well some height width and margin okay, so now this name and this one added and on the button click we'll add one more button and on button click whatever the text is written in this text box we are going to show it on the message box Print on this button. Show here. Let's take it thirty. This is simplest application we created for this demonstration of our data binding. Let's try to run the static. We haven't written anything any logic to it, so nothing will happen if I type something here. Nothing will happen because we haven't point any data to it. Okay. So here we'll create a click event. On this click event, we are going to show data on the message box okay, so here this click event has been created for this button so before binding this one uh, we have to show we have to link this person details personal details to this main window create object of this person details here person details and the create object of this pro object of this person details and uh, initialize this subject person details and data context so this is the property of a window where we have to map our object of a class so person details equals to uh, data context equal to person details so we have bind this person details to this data context of a window so now all person details will be available to this data context so now whatever the property we created here as a name we can bind to the text box text box of a text box of this window so here the property of a text box that is a text we are going to bind with the name property of that class so whenever we are going to type it here in this text box that will be this will be assigned to this name of name property of a text a name property of this class so now how, what exactly we have typed if you want to see it then we have to uh, see somewhere so we'll see on this message box name we are going to type we'll see on the message box person details dot name we'll see whether this is getting assigned to this name or no okay so we'll see here then built and so here let's say magnificent i typed it here and click on the show this way we can take the, because of the binding it made possible whatever the text we type it here on the text box it is going to show in the message box because it is available in this name property magnificent it has been changed so whatever the change which we are going to do it always it will be available in the name property because this name property we have bind it here so property whatever we are going to type in the text box it will be available in the name property which is bind to this text box